Hey everyone, I'm Jay Hill, and welcome to episode three of Making a Game Character. In this episode, we're gonna be further blocking out the character. We're still messing around with proportions. Um, we're trying to get representations of everything that's gonna be in the character. And you'll see me going back and forth with lots of ideas and playing with shapes. So uh, while it's going on though, uh, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, fear and how it plays a role in making characters for me. Uh, fear and doubt are a thing that um, I have to deal with when I'm making projects and I, I assume most people are like this. So I wanted to talk a little bit about it. And uh, so we'll get the video going. Uh, I'm going to be messing around with the face and stuff. Um, and you'll see me also using the transpose master to get everything uh, in one subtool again so I can mess with the proportions and stuff. As I get the costume bits on there I feel I check out like how I feel how things are balanced. Um, and also, I don't really have an armor design um, locked in. I'm using the reference because my goal with the armor is I want it to feel like the Doom armor. I want it to be like, hey, that's the Doom guy. But also at the same time, I want it to feel and look um, modern or next gen with the, the techniques and the amount of detail probably it's going to have. And there's a couple different Doom armors as the game changed. so. Uh, I'm kind of like cherry picking themes I, I like and I don't necessarily feel like I have to make it identical. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a way where I can make uh, the armor uh, that doesn't actually look identical to any Doom armor but it'll feel like it because of the because of the pattern pretty much that like this cutout window in the shoulders and I want it to feel like a space marine pretty much which I think is the initial kind of inspiration for Doom Guy. Uh, it looks very much like influenced... Um, by just sci-fi space marine -y stuff just this time it's in hell so anyways I want to talk a little bit about fear here so at this point in the process um, well let me first say that I've made uh, several characters now right I've made I've made lots of characters but every time I make a character I'm st I'm still really worried the whole time that it's not good enough or it's not gonna be good maybe but I'm at a point now. I wanted to. I wanted to say that I'm sure most people are like that, and I don't even think it's specific to characters. It's just a project, you know. Like at work, um, you know, they'll be on a schedule, right? There'll be like a time where a character's done, you know, and then and someone's scheduled to like rig it and animate it, and uh, and I haven't even started making a character, you know. So there's something kind of scary about like there's just this date where this you're you're done with a project you haven't started and so you're you're like oh crap I hope I finish this uh, I hope it's good whoa like people are counting on me um, and even when it's just myself you know I'm I'm kinda counting on me I don't wanna give up uh, so anyways that's kinda the point here is there's there's doubt the whole time that I'm pretty much the whole time till I till the ends in sight but especially in the beginning because it's gonna look not good most of the time if you think about it because you know it's it's gonna be rough things are gonna be changing all the time um, like when in this case the armors gonna change a lot I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment a lot and try things and I'm gonna fail a lot and what I mean by fail is I'm gonna try different uh, configurations that I can that that I can think of and also different like patterns and try stuff out and then if I think oh, I don't really like it then um, then I gotta wash it out and do it again. And that's kind of the tip here is don't don't give up uh, because you you're worried because you think it's too hard. Um, and really, what too hard means is is it's scary, right? That's the hard part. Is um, it's so much scarier to erase or start over a piece than to just try to muscle it through and think you know it's good enough because maybe I can't do better than this but in my experience you can you can always do better um, and that's what kinda where my resolve comes from is I've made enough characters now where yeah I'm scared and I have doubt but I can tell myself you know you've been here before and you're gonna finish if you just don't stop because um, that's kinda the way I work and it might not be the greatest work uh, workflow um, but I'm I get stuff down I get stuff in um, with any kind of art form I do whether it's sculpting or drawing or painting and I 
I get down the, the key idea or the big elements that I can think of. And then once it's there, I'm changing it a lot. Uh, you know, I, I like to see how things are or experiment and and riff off of what's there. So I don't go in with a it's not like I have a structured plan. That's not how I feel like, you know, I, I mean, it's in the end, it's it's a creative thing, right? Creativity doesn't necessarily go in in, uh, in an ordered step by step sequence. Creativity can be chaotic. And, and that's how I work. And, you know, you got to kind of embrace the chaos and know that eventually things are going to work out. So, you know, it's, it's scary for a while, but it, you don't let that fear make you stop. In fact, like it's, it's kind of a driving thing. Like when I wake up in the morning and I want, I want to check it and like immediately when I see it, I see things that I'm not happy with and I want to change. And I immediately like, I want to just sit down and start moving it around. Um, and you can see like most of this video is moving, you know, I'm not, I'm not sculpting. Uh, the sculpting comes later in, in the character process for me. Like I'm blocking things out and I don't expect any of the elements here to be the final element. I mean, everything will be rebuilt pretty much. Um, the face is even not, I mean, everything's going to have, have to be remade in a way where that it's, it's functional. So this is all just representative really. And, um, uh, I lost my own train of thought, but anyways, the point is like, it, it's, it's a scary thing, uh, to not know where you're headed, like to not have, to not be able to look at something and go, that's it. You know, uh, you have to trust yourself. You have to tell yourself, uh, it is, it is kind of scary right here, but the way to finish is to not give up and to keep going. You just keep working on it until you're happy with it. And especially when it comes to personal projects, don't just don't even time is your friend. You know, if it takes you a really long time because you're starting over and because because you're not happy or, you know, in this case, like say, say you're um, doing hard surface things for the first time and then you discover a tool or a technique and that would make you even better or you become more experienced. Right. I mean. I remember in school, um, some we would lose work. I mean, in ZBrush crashes sometimes, and you would lose work. And it's one of the things I ah, it makes me feel so bad when I lose work and I have to redo it. There's something about it where I'm just like, oh no, all that like, if even if it's an hour or two, that doesn't sound like a lot, but that hour or two, I'm just like, this, I'm just not happy with having to redo this thing. And you have that in your mind. You're like, well, it, it's probably not as good. You don't even remember what it used to be, but you're like, it's probably never going to be as good as it was. But uh, even though that really hurts redoing something and you can do it just as an exercise like you don't have to lose work like I just said but you could intentionally be happy with a piece and then duplicate it or add append a new thing to, to make a shape again and then just hide the one that you want and as an exercise just try to make it again and see see what happens when you're done then you can look at both and pick the one that you like but most of the time when you do it again because it's almost like you had a practice run you know it's like warming up uh, for athletics or warming up for drawing or whatever, but you get those muscles in your brain working. Um, you get, you know, where you, you're going around the UI, you kind of have a system now. So now if you just do it again, you're a lot better equipped and you get right down to the what's important because you've spent that time noodling. So yeah, a lot of the time is going to be spent just wiggling things around and trying to, trying to, for me, uh, the way I would say it is trying to, I'm trying to make myself um, feel good or I'm trying to make the, the thing I'm working on feel good and so I'm spinning around a lot I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself uh, what why don't I feel good about this right now and I try to I try to see if I can find it and then I'll test it you'll see pretty soon here um, I'm gonna make the knee pad smaller so I'm making the knee pad smaller because the upper leg was thick, the knee pads were thick, and the boots were thick. So it was like a straight line, and I wanted some contrast there. I wanted a little bit of a rhythm. So I thought, well, instead of big knee pads, then if we do very small knee pads, then I'll kind of have a big section and then a small piece and then a big section so that the knee pad breaks up these two bigger shapes instead of a big, a boring shape. And um, so anyways, that's 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 an example of like, I'm, I'm like, why doesn't this feel that great? And it's because, you know, the, the silhouette was straight. It looked like boring and I found a way to make a change that makes me feel a little bit better and then I'm bouncing around a lot um, I'll, I'll I'm working on a piece until I feel better about it and I go oh, okay 
and I go, oh, over here, this new problem, blah, 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 blah. And then I look at the whole thing, I go, mm. And you see, I took off the shoulder pads right here because they were distracting. I'm like, these aren't gonna be like the shoulder pads. And I'm like, I don't know how high they're gonna be. So anyways, you can see that I don't have the answers, right? When I'm working right here, uh, I don't know exactly what is gonna happen, but I'm playing and you have to trust yourself that it's gonna be done eventually. And right now you just have to enjoy the playing part. You gotta be messing it around and I mean, you know, I'm trying to make cool sci-fi armor and a cool Doom guy. And and if I think about that, like where I'm where I wanna end up, and even though I don't have the specifics, I, I know I do know some things for sure, and that's this guy, the feeling that this guy should have is like this big uh, macho uh, space marine guy who's a li it's a little bit funny and it's also like you know rock and roll this like big muscles and this ab thing and uh the helmet and i wanted to also you know remind me of the fond times i have i had playing doom you know it's an homage to um a game i i liked playing if if i could evoke that in the final thing that would be great so as i'm working on it i'm thinking does this feel uh retro like uh, 80s, 90s action hero movie. Uh, does it feel macho enough? You know, uh, and then apart from that, it's the shapes and stuff. But that feeling I want to capture, that's where I'm headed. So that's kind of driving everything. I want it to feel, I want it to feel like a good, uh, strong character. And I'm getting close here to blocking out all of the little pieces. I, I think I'm going to add a holster on his leg, on his right leg. Um, one, because it adds some asymmetry, it makes things more interesting. It gives me some stuff to do with the cloth to um, sculpt some wrinkles. And stuff to make it you know just an interesting area over here and balance some things out and also you know that's a marine kind of thing to do is have a holster and I remember doom had a pistol uh, so even if it's not in the actual uh, initial concept I feel like it'd be a fine addition uh, I figured that that was those uh, space marines in aliens are probably uh, an inspiration to the original doom guy character that type of stuff pretty much Arnold Schwarzenegger wearing those is doom guy and then yeah, I'm also I'm also thinking maybe I'll this like sport athletic shirt, maybe you know the bare neck was a little bit weird. But I'm not exactly sure yet still. But overall, I'm getting happier with the uh, size and proportions and stuff. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the series so far. It's been pretty fun actually looking back at all the Doom stuff while I've been working on it, and it's cool to be working on Doom Guy. I haven't thought about those times actually in a long time, but I love uh, I loved my time as a kid playing Doom on the computer. Uh, did, did anybody else play Doom, or what games do you guys look back on and think, man, that was awesome? Uh, anyways, let me know. So like the video, please. Uh, if you like this kind of thing, subscribe. Uh, if you know people that you think would be into it, tell them, you know. And I'll see you next time. Peace.